Well, good day, friends, and welcome back to the St. Paul Handicapable Ministry YouTube service on December the 20th, 2023. All right, we're going to start singing. Got some great songs we're going to sing tonight. The Happy Birthday Song, the Joy Song, and God and Jesus Love Us. Anybody got a birthday? Maybe you've already had one. You got one coming up before next week. Oh, we got a birthday. Come birthday. Look, you got a birthday. <laughs> Come on up here. All right. Big hand. All right. We're going to sing happy birthday now, okay? You're so beautiful tonight. We love you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Wasn't that fantastic? Happy birthday. You're the most beautiful birthday girl of the day. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. That's wonderful. Great. Okay. We got the joy song. Renee can, uh, 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 let's see. Can you help gather up a few people to help take the offering up? Maybe Ola's back there. Maybe Ola could do that. There we go. We'll get a few that are going on. Denise, here the baskets up here. We love to sing the joy song. We love to give praise and thanksgiving to God for this wonderful ministry. Okay, you ready? I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart. Down in my heart, I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. I've got the light of Jesus, light of Jesus down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the light of Jesus, light of Jesus down in my heart down in my heart to stay i've got the peace of jesus peace of jesus down in my heart down in my heart down in my heart i've got the peace of jesus peace of jesus down in my heart down in my heart to stay i've got the love of jesus love of jesus down in my heart down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus. Down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. All right, way to go. Oh, handy announcement. Gail wants us to remember that God loves us all the time and primarily just on Wednesday nights. Every day? Every second? Are you, oh. Every second of every minute, every minute of every hour, every hour of every day, every day of every week, every week of every month, every month of every year. He loves us throughout eternity, and I pray I've made myself quite clear. Woohoo! We are so thankful. Another song, a couple of songs that we really enjoy singing are We Are the Church and the Magic Penny. Okay, Jesse, you've got it. I am the church. You are the church. We are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world. Yes, we're the church together. The church is not a building. The church is not a steeple. The church is not a resting place. The church is a people. I am the church. You are the church. We are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world. Yes, we're the church together. 
We're many kinds of people with many kinds of faces, all colors and all ages too, from all times and places. Here we go now. I am the church. You are the church. We are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world. Yes, we're the church together. All right, wait a second. Wait. Oh, magic penny. Uh, Virginia was here, but she left early. Next time, we'll make sure we have a penny to pass around. I've got some up in the offices, but we'll... I, you know this song, just play with imaginary pennies. We're going to be passing them out, okay? Lord, there's something if you give it away, give it away, give it away. Hey, Lord, there's something if you give it away, you end up having more. It's just like a magic penny. Hold it tight and you won't have any. Lend it, spend it, and you'll have so many. They'll roll all over the floor. Hey, love is something if you give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Hey, love is something if you give it away. You end up having more. The highlight tonight is going to go back uh, many years. In fact, the first appearance I made with the uh, St. Paul Handicapable Ministry was back in December of 1997, just three months after Bill Fritz started the ministry in October. This is the story that I told and been telling that story for years. It's the story of the Good Shepherd. Here we go. My involvement with the ministry began when Bill invited me to come to the group's Christmas gathering in December of 1997 and tell the Christmas story. I was thrilled at the opportunity to share the good news of the arrival of the baby Jesus. I came dressed as the Good Shepherd. I knew immediately this is where God was calling me to be. Beginning in January of 1998, I became a handicapable member and teacher. Since December of 1997, I have continued to dress as the Good Shepherd and share the Christmas story with our wonderful handicapable family. The presentation has grown from just the spoken words with the early versions to today where we have incorporated dramatic music and video to added value. We have also had one of our great Pyrenees rescue friends who played the role of a shepherd and a great Pyrenees dog the role of a sheep in one of our productions. We have also had other dress-up presentations such as the Easter story as told by Jesus' disciple Peter. Our handy family really enjoys drama and many are engaged in community theater where they get on the big stage themselves and play significant roles to the delight of the viewing audience. God has truly blessed us with such gifted students. We always welcome the opportunity to share the creative talents with our group, our church, and our local community. All right, our boys are back one more time, Bandit and Onyx, and they are truly amazing. They're going to be sharing some of the fun things that they love to do. Take it away, boys. Previously, we watched part one of the Onyx and Bandit show that showed various activities the boys love to do. Today we will be looking at part two of other fun activities the boys have engaged in. Sit back, rest and relax, and join in with the fun. Alrighty, here's the first scene when Onyx 
and Bandy jump into Renee's Lazy Boy chair. Let's see what happens. Oh no, a catastrophe! Meanwhile, outside the boys love to have one of their stare downs or standoffs in the backyard. Who will make the first move? And what happens afterwards? Let's see! Both boys love our 15-year-old little friend, Rain the Cat. Let's see what they have to offer as far as some fun with the cat, and also let's see how the cat also has some fun with them and with their mother. Boys love snack time, and who better than their mother to give them their favorite treats? It doesn't take long for the boys to lap up all the goodies. Enjoy, boys, there'll be more to come later. The boys truly live life to the fullest and love being a part of our family, just as we love having our trustworthy and loyal boys members of our family. So it is with God. He loves all members of his family, and we rejoice in that. To God be the glory. I love Jesus' promise to us from Matthew 28, 20, when he said, And surely I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. That is so comforting to know that we can always count on God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit to be with us wherever we are in our journey through life. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we're thankful for this Christmas season. We're thanking for the fast approaching day of Christmas where we can rejoice and celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus that happened over 2,000 years ago, Father. How we have been blessed how, Father, that brings love into our lives to know that we have a wonderful Lord and Savior that is with us all the time. Oh, Father, may we reach out to others that may be hurting or that have uh, other types of needs in their family. I know our church has been faithful for years, oh, Father, in providing gifts to children in the community and also much needed food. Bless us in all that we do and thank for all the many ways you bless us. For we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. All right, we're going to continue to look at people of faith in the Bible tonight. And we're going to be looking at the shepherds living in the fields. From Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 11, And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flock at night. An angel appeared to them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. There will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Can we say amen to that? Christ the Lord. Let's look a little bit closer to the shepherds. You know, when you think about a shepherd, of course, we know that David was a shepherd, took care of the family sheep. But shepherds, for the most part, were not well regarded in the community. They were usually working around the clock. They were away from the, being able to work with other people or be associated with a lot of people. We know that they worked hard. Being a shepherd was a difficult work. But they also had a lot of responsibility taking care of the sheep. They had to make sure they tried to protect the sheep. If one got sick or lame or something, they tried to come and try to take care of that sheep. 
and the job could be dangerous. Not only was the threat of animals, but there may be others who wanted to come in and maybe try to steal the sheep. The pay was very low, that much was for sure, and the working conditions were poor as well. So overall, not too many people you would think would want to make that their trade, but there were so many people who did a wonderful job of doing that. Let's go to the night, the night on which Jesus was born, and there was one angel that appears to the shepherd, and the glory of the Lord shone round that particular angel, and then before long, the angel said, listen, do not be afraid. I bring you great joy for all. Today in the city of David, which was Bethlehem, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Now just imagine that you were there and that angel had appeared. And the next thing you know, there were a host of angels and they were singing beautiful songs. I can just see, if I know if I'd have been there, I would have just probably been so afraid, but I would just be like in a trance and just wonder who are these people? What beautiful music that is. I've never heard anything like that. And so as the angels were singing, praising God in the highs and on earth peace and goodwill to all, the angels suddenly went back to heaven. As soon as they had come, they quickly departed. And so the shepherds got together there and they said, we had been instructed by the angels to go into Bethlehem. Let some of us go and go in and take the journey. So they took the journey in, following the star that was highlighting where the baby Jesus was laying in the manger. And when they got there, they saw the baby Jesus. Can you imagine being there and seeing the beautiful baby Jesus at that particular time? And they said beautiful and wonderful things to Mary. They knew that they were supposed to spread the word. So immediately as they went back to to be with their flock and everything. They started spreading the word, not only among other shepherds, but other people that they saw along the way. They said, let us rejoice for the newborn king, baby Jesus, has come into our lives. And from that time on, the word of God has continued to be spread throughout all the world. And we're supposed to make others aware of how Jesus and how important he is in our lives. All right, to become better followers of Jesus, we need to follow Jesus. Read, believe, and act on this word, and we need to pray for strength and guidance. I'm praying that all of us are doing those things, especially as we near the Christmas day, which will be coming up just very soon. All right, be careful out there. Have a great Christmas, and never forget that Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit love us more than we could ever imagine. Take care, and Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs>